Hey Movie Maniacs, Cinema Creeper here. I'm going to take you guys on a movie room tour today. Show you guys a few new changes that have gone on over the last few days and also some new additions. Get it started with a shelf I added in for one of my custom made Jason hockey masks. Uh, this is one of the first ones that I ever did. I made quite a few different versions, but this has always been one of my favorite. Pretty simplistic look on it. Went a little crazy with the blood, but I think it gives it a really nice effect. Above there, I have a Friday the 13th remake print signed by Jason Craig, which is the artist of Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash comic book series. And as far as above the couch goes, no new changes. Still have the Army of Darkness posters displayed along with the witch hands. And then there at the end again I added in another shelf for my Phantasm Sphere. I've wanted to display that for a long time now and I uh, thought this was the perfect way to do it along with the Phantasm advertisement there. has a nice release date of October 31st. I'm really pleased the way that turned out though. Uh, it's kind of as you come in the room. That's one of the first things you see. So, And have the cult classics or NECA figure wall display here. No new changes for that. Uh, I do plan on above the pegboard here to displaying a NECA cult classic sign. Show you guys the orange variant Michael Myers sheet figure. And we have the white one behind it. Have quite a few of these. Uh, I do have some of the newer releases in the slimmer packages. Uh, just decided to go with the older figures on this wall though. Then this is the door as you come into the movie room. Have some posters displayed here. Friday 13th Part 8, which is my favorite in the franchise. I have a rubber poster. Got the Freddy light plate switch. On the Fright Night Film Fest poster. Love the colors on this one. Really ties in well with the color scheme that I used on the wall. And we have Black Waters of Echoes Pond poster signed by Sean Clark, which is one of the co writers for the film. He signed it Don't Look Into the Pond. And then we have Daniel Harris's signature there at the top. And this door here actually leads to the bathroom, which is also movie theme related. I just haven't finished it yet, so I'm not going to give you guys a tour of that yet. Above the door there, the Bates Motel vacancy sign. And then one of my favorite posters that I have in my collection is the Horror 2000 Millennium Edition poster. And I have the Universal Monsters stamp collection frame there and then the main reason for doing this video and the newest addition to the collection is this coffin DVD shelf or coffin display case a friend of mine at work made this for me and he did a spectacular job I think it really ties in well with the room only thing I really did was I decided to uh, knocked out that closet a while back and just didn't really know what to put in there. Nothing really looked right. And uh, I think this coffin fits perfectly in there. Looks really good. Gives the movie room a nice creepy feel to it. Me being a horror fan. Only thing I really did was added in a light above there. Which looks really nice at night time. And also I decided to put up some curtains. With some gold tie backs just to give it a nice old theater look. 
top shelf there just have some of my favorite TV series and DVD sets along with the Walking Dead set there in the middle a couple of box sets you guys have seen these in some of my other videos so I won't go too far in depth this thing holds quite a few DVD DVDs though really pleased with it and uh, just one of my favorite pieces that I have above the coffin there I've got a few autographs Tom Savini there on the left we have Jennifer Tilly and the last one here is Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez signatures then along the DVD wall or the main DVD wall here Decided to display a lot of my box sets. Uh, that's something new that I've did. Some of these I haven't had out and they've been in boxes for a while. So glad finally to have these displayed properly so I can enjoy them. Won't go too far in depth. Again, you've seen some of these in my past videos or other people's collections. So we'll show the... John Carpenter's body bag edition there. One of my favorites that I have. On TV here, got Basket Case 2 Blu-ray. This is from the uh, Steelbook trilogy. Second Sight did a really great job on this releasing. Love the colors and artwork on this one. Comes with all three films. Shot of the back there. That stack of DVDs there. Just a few things I plan on watching over the next few days. Got Dr. Jekyll, Mrs. Hyde there. Along with a couple other uh, just 80's science fiction comedy movies. Got Zapped Again. Zapped. Weird Science, Science Project. A couple other ones. Keep going along the wall here. Some more box sets. Got the Halloween set displayed really nicely. This one here, I don't think I've shown this one before. This is a Nominate 08 TV series uh, DVD set. Comes with a lot of nice promotional pins that are actually magnets. And then the DVDs inside are all displayed in... American flag shape. Probably be doing a video of that later on, so won't show you guys that quite yet. Just doing an overview here. A few new changes on the back wall here. Added in some new shelves. Decided to uh, display the popcorn lamp along beside the popcorn machine there. Have to enjoy a big bowl of popcorn while you're watching all those horror flicks. Shelves that I added in are over here on the right. Decided to put a few box sets up along with some of my uh, single edition DVDs that are my favorite covers. I plan on changing this one out probably monthly or so just to give it a new look and enjoy some of my DVDs. have a SFX magazine which is a special edition horror magazine came with a lot of nice uh, free gifts a nice poster of Halloween and thing still have the crossroads video sign displayed here in the middle show you guys this box set also this is the Never Ending Story box set. Don't see too many people do videos on this. Uh, don't know how rare it is. I've actually only came across it one time. And never saw it again. So glad to have that one. Got the Nike Freddy shoes there. And on the bottom shelf, got a couple of 
Pink Panther sets along with the Harry Potter Wizardry Collection. These DVDs here on this table are actually some Underground Empire DVDs. I do plan on getting a few more, that's why I've left a little bit of room. Right now I have The Town That Dreaded Sundown, Highway to Hell, La Mansion de la Nibla, which is also known as Last Exorcism, and Wicked Wicked. Top of the popcorn machine there, just got a couple of retro VHS's, Turnpike Killer there on the bottom, along with Sleeper and VHS. There's a couple more of those I plan on getting, so hopefully I'll do that soon. And we have the Camp Crystal Lake sign, along with the Chop Top Bust. And still haven't found a place for the Army of Darkness display yet. I don't use the uh, back door here too much, so I decided to set it on the floor right now and keep it out of the way. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hopefully I showed you a few things you haven't seen before. Also, let me know what you think of the new coffin display case. Uh, I think my friend did a really good job, and so I want to thank him again. And until next time, drink your ski.